Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna be taking a look at Windows 2. Let's see what it's all about, let's check all the features, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to say. So Win386 because we are running a, it's not, not a 386, in fact it's a 486 but it's compatible so that's the version we installed. And as you can see 2.1 actually, not even uh 2.0 uh where is the mouse oh no okay that's a problem let's well, hard reset <laughs> oops oops seems like the mouse driver vanished for some reason but it's it's back now apparently yes it's back so we do have mouse now as you can see loads up microsoft does executive which was pretty much what it was, it was just a sort of shell. So you can maximize, minimize. It's pretty much like Windows 3 and Windows 3.1, but a little more weird. And even the colors are kind of hurt my eyes. Very like 80s. <laughs> it looks, it screams 80s, you know? A color scheme, it's like Vice, Vice City style, you know? It has that Vice City vibe, but here we are. That's Windows 2 for you, and uh, it has a clock. Very useful. Am I right? It has Microsoft Paint. Send nudes. As you can see, it's pretty accurate. Extremely accurate. It has different. Wow, you can make. Oh sh no way oh, that's cool um, uh, how does it work though okay so you have to click and sort of 3d 3d thingy it's not like 3d but it kind of simulates 3d you got what I mean um we can make shapes which is a standard has always been uh, there's not a lot of colors it doesn't seem like there are colors other than black and white which is understandable given like most people back then could not afford a a CGA uh, card to, uh, you know or a CGA monitor which would allow colors so it does make sense that there is no color support for paint Maybe there is, and I don't know, but it doesn't seem like that. So there's Notepad, as always. Still the same, pretty much. You know, the same old Notepad you're used to. One funny thing, though, there's no way about it's under file, which was changed later on. We all know the on recent, like Windows, you click here. There's about. A tab where you read about the uh, system, but it was under file back in the day, which is kind of cool, you know. So here's a calculator, pretty cool. Let's close that. Let's take a look at this text file. Okay, it's empty. There's just cut paint. What's cut paint? Oh, it's a converter for something. Oh, what's this? Plant Spring Garden? Ah, ha, ha, that's definitely not mine. <laughs> what's it doing in there? Uh, uh, I don't have any clue. Nudes. Oh, yeah, that, that, that that's something I made, actually. I made that. And I made that as well. When I installed the system, I was making sure everything was... Working so this meant to be a sort of Microsoft Word thing, you know, it's pretty basic as you can see, but it's a full fledged text editor, sort of. Despite you're apparently not able to change, oh, you are, you can change the font, you can change the font. Can you actually? Let's see, career. Can you? Uh, maybe I have to select and then it does change. Oh, yeah, it does change. Look at that. Great. So we have just three fonts. 
We can bold the fonts. Let's see. F6. It's pretty cool. I mean, that was very advanced for back in the day, but it doesn't delete. Oh, it does delete. It just doesn't let you select and delete it all at once. Which is a little counterproductive, but it does make sense. Given how old this thing is, it's from 1988, as you can see, version 2.1. It's very, very old. Let's not save that. There's a practice dot right. Murphy and Allen. Okay, prepare home for sale. Uh, are we supposed to like? Oh, so we can like read that and try to type that back. Okay, that's cool. It's a fall. It's sort of. Is that a letter? It does look like a letter. Oh, there's reverse C here. I don't know how to play that. I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna close it. Spooler. No printers. Okay, yeah, I don't have a printer. It's control. So time and date. We can change cursor blank. We can add printer, new font, delete font. We have communication port, screen colors. So we can change the colors, which is nice. Can we make it look dope? Oh yeah, we can make it look very cool. Look at that. No, 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 color. That's ugly. That burns my eyes. Okay, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, so it can get it to a plain light green, which I like. Where is it though? I think I, I changed uh, the wrong thing though. Application workspace. That's the one that we are meant to change. That's sort of the background of the applications. Let's make it like green. <laughs> it's gonna look ugly. Preferences, screen colors, application workspace, window background. That's the one I imagine. Let's see, bright. Okay, so it is not what I think it would. Window text. Okay, that might be the one. Oh, that's text up there. Now let's not change that. Any bar. That's the one. Okay, let's make it red. Sure. It's going to look ugly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But. You know, there was a lot of things that could change better than Windows 10 as far as customization goes. Okay, title bar. So we can change the active bar as well. Let's make it uh, blue. Blue is okay. It doesn't fit. But it's just for... Jesus Christ, it looks disgusting. Oh my God, screen colors. So we can change everything, as you can see, window frame, uh, inactive borders. There's a lot of customization, which is quite cool. We can change keyboard speed, country settings, mouse. We can change borders, which is okay. Look at that. Donald Trump would be proud. Border control, that's cool. Um, let's just close that now. And uh, as you can see, the system is pretty basic. There was not a lot going on. <laughs> so that pretty much explains why I never got it popular. And Windows 3 was the one that actually got it like famous. And when it finally started selling a lot, like millions and millions of copies. Because Windows 1 and 2, I mean, they were handy for Microsoft OS users. Because you would have a graphical interface which you could deal with and do all the work. But... On the other hand, though, it's not like uh, it, it did not justify, you know, because there were shells before, graphical shells for Microsoft DOS, which would offer pretty much the same thing for less. And uh, all things considered, like all the apps that come with it, I don't think it did justify, you know, it could just live with the black interface, with the command line, because even though it does make things easier, at the same time, it does not, because, you know, there's not a lot going on anyway. It doesn't matter. It's pretty raw, you know? It's pretty damn raw. It could get more with Microsoft DOS, with the, like, with the right applications, with the right uh, know-how, but you could definitely do more with DOS alone. So that's that might be why I never got popular. So, yeah, I think that's it for today, my dudes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any question just uh, go to the comment section down below leave it there i will respond when i can and see you all hope you liked it 
Adios.